the adventure on W four C Y Radio. Radio, 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 radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. I swear. Swear to God that I'm fine. Maybe I can feel better. Going out of my mind. Strap me into the stretcher. Why the fuck do I try? This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Winona Fighter. Nice. I hope you're not going to fight anybody today. <laughs> I am known for threatening to fight people as a joke. Threats are funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, hopefully we won't have to fight anyone today. I think it would be kind of funny, actually. Like, you could do that. Maybe you could have, like, some kind of fight on stage that's staged, you know? All right, cool. I'm sold. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> like Jane's Addiction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that was staged. Yeah. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah. yeah, a big sloppy mud pit fight. Oh. Yeah. oh, there you go. That would be fun. And we could certainly have that here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, definitely. You guys are totally lucky because today is like the best day yet. It's the best day all week. The sun's trying to peek through a little bit. I know, that that would be kind of amazing. As yeah. long as it doesn't rain, I don't care. I like the sun not peeking through as long as it doesn't rain, especially for bands, because yeah. it's got to suck when you're up on stage and that sun's, like, beating down on you. It's like, as soon as you, like, stop playing, like, you finish a song, you're like, oh, my God, I'm a million degrees up here. It's fucking burning. Then you play the song, you're like, oh, it's actually not too bad. It stops again. You're like, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, we did Riot Fest last week. And I was there, too. Oh, but man. I wasn't there your day. I don't know if you know what happened, but I had, like, a death in the family, oh, so God. I didn't get there till Sunday. That's why we're doing this today. We actually were scheduled for Riot Fest. Oh. But finish your story, because I interrupted. It was 10 million degrees. Yeah. It was so hot. And, like, I was in the one spot where the sun was beating down on the stage. And then we got off stage, and Austin was like, you don't look so good. And I was like, I just need a second. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I look sometimes, and what some people wear, too. Because you want to wear what you're normally going to wear on stage. And sometimes, that shit just don't work, man. Like... I said to Taylor Mumpson one time, and she wears that long black coat. I'm like, how do you survive up there with that? It was like 100 degrees out, 100% humidity, like in Florida, wearing this. I'm like, I I would be like, fuck it, I'm taking the shit off. (laughs) Yeah, I I think about Guar in those situations. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that festival we played and Filter was playing? I think it was Filter, and they were wearing all black with jackets, yeah. Me, on the other hand, we played a show in the summer. It was like 95, and I immediately went out and bought a bunch of shorts like the next day. It's like, right? I can't take this. Yeah, I think everybody could take a lesson from Flea because he, yeah, he was always comfortable. <laughs> he was, he's probably the most comfortable man in the world. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Who are you guys excited to see today? If anybody, you might have to like just jet out. but. Oh, man. We do have to jet out, but right when we're done, Spirit Box starts, oh. and I'm so, I actually just ran into Courtney in the bathroom, and I totally biffed it, dude. I totally like. She was like, "Hello," in the kindest voice, and I was like, "Hey, hi," <laughs> and then I absolutely ran out of there. Oh my god, that's she's too so funny. cool. She's the cool. She's so cool. If we could stay, I would love to see Judas Priest. Nice. Yeah, both of those. Sorry. Are, are you looking at the lineup? For the lineup sorry. <laughs> that, well, that was smart. Look up the line. Listen, when I see her sing, Courtney, I'm like, oh, my God, because you watch her mouth. And, like, what she does to do those growls, like, she has total control over her jaw. Yeah. I'm like, 
I can't even make that face that she's, she's making. She's a badass. And we're, we're on the same label, so I could have totally, like, I could have talked to her and been like, oh, we're on Rise as well. But instead, I just, like, started sweating. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. See, now, if you didn't do that, the next tour would have been Judas Priest, Spirit Box, and you guys. Yeah. We're we're pretty fresh to the scene, so, or, I mean, not the scene, but we're pretty fresh to this, like, higher level of of stuff, so we're definitely in the process of trying to make friends. There you go. What other festivals have you done besides Riot Fest and Louder in Life? We played Ocean's Calling the other day in Ocean City, Maryland, which was awesome. Also, a sick lineup, and they had some like Ferris wheels and some roller coasters and stuff you could jump on. Which roller is coasters? Because oh, yeah. a lot of them have Ferris wheels, but I've never seen a roller coaster. That's badass. Like a couple of the first ones, we did Bonnaroo. Okay. Uh, last year, we did a few of those. Oh yeah, we did Shaky Knees. That was awesome. We did some of those Is for Lovers fest. Okay. Uh, Hoffman Heights put on. And then we have Aftershock in October. Yeah, that's um, a great one. I'll as be well there. as a new festival in Nashville called Ceremony Fest. Oh, nice. So we're really stoked about to finish out the year with those two. Aftershock is one of my favorite Danny Wimmer festivals. You're so going to lo- love it. And they got this cool, like, see how this press area is? And you got the drip bar. It. Well, it's more intimate. And it's an artist and media lounge. Cool. That's great. With an open bar. And, like, Woo. everybody's just hanging out all day and all night. Just like a family oh that's gonna be great yeah shaking knees i wonder if i was at the one that you were at was it the one when muse played when who played muse no it was this year we played shaking oh okay yeah and how would you compare doing something like bonnaroo compared to riot fest as an example i think the biggest difference is festival like riot fest or louder than life is you're surrounded by purely rock and roll fans yeah and they like eat sleep and breathe it whereas like a bonnaroo or a shaky knees it's like a much wider spectrum of music lovers both great both audiences we try to attract like we were on the same time as lil nas x wow yeah bonnaroo wow (laughs) so (laughs) yeah and i i find that the ones like Bonnaroo, because of the type of music it's more geared towards, there's more people there partying than actually attending sets. Yes, exactly <laughs> that. You know? And it's massive. Like, Riot Fest was really nice because we like could park somewhere and then just walk two minutes to like the artist lounge. Yep. And the stage was like right there. And Bonnaroo was like, all right, so they could golf cart for 15 minutes for, <laughs> you know what I mean? But the, ni- the nice thing, too, it's like at Riot Fest, there was some, like, some diversity, too, with that, you know, people just think of, like, rock is, like, one thing, right, that aren't in the scene. But, you know, Public Enemy definitely was has, like, a punk rock ethos to a lot of stuff that they do, and their set reflected that, too. It was a nice thing. Nice thing last weekend in Chicago. Nice. And here, Louder Than Life and a lot of Danny Wimmer festivals, too, even though it's a rock metal crowd, but us rockers, we secretly like some of these other artists. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, like Tech Nine and yeah. what we have yesterday, Three Six Mafia yesterday. Ooh, they they played Bonnaroo. The Academy Award winners, Three Six Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to see them at Bonnaroo when we played, and it was electric. <laughs> right. So, and, and it's funny because when you see this, you, the rockers are out there just as into it as the people that are normally into that genre. Yeah. You know, and that's what's cool nowadays. It's like. I've been talking about this a lot because I come from a time where you couldn't even go to a punk show if you were a long hair, okay? And I was a long hair who liked punk and metal. Couldn't go to a metal show if you're a punk. It's the stupidest shit ever. Like, you should like different genres. You should be, you know, exposed to different things. Yeah, you can like what it, you know, what your passion is. But I can't believe, I know people that only like one band and that's all they like. That's no doubt (laughs) stupid, I think. And that's kind of what, you know, with our music. um, Yeah, unless it's Winona Fighter. Well, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, everybody can only like Winona Fighter. Big mission of ours is to reach more audiences and to not just be with the punk fans or with the rock fans. Like, who's to say a, a young girl who likes Taylor Swift isn't looking for a band like us to just 
get all her anger out to, you know? I love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so true, too. So that's what's beautiful about festivals, because there's bands you would see that you wouldn't normally see that, like, oh, I get it now. Yeah. I, that happened to me at Okeechobee Fest. I was doing Okeechobee Fest, which Bonnaroo runs it, so it's very similar. And I was always like, I don't get people going to a concert for a DJ. Just go to the nightclub, okay? And then I went there and Skrillex and Bass Nectar were playing. And I was like, I wasn't even on drugs. And I was like, I get it now. I was like, wow, this is great. But had I not been at a festival, I wouldn't have seen that. When we were playing Bonner, we played our set, went back, had a couple beers, went to the Odessa headlining set, which was electric. Again, similar, like, I never would have gone to that if we hadn't been there, but I'm so glad we did. And then we went to the corn set for a little bit, and then we went to the silent disco, and it's like, nice. what an amazing Hot night. Yeah. Yeah. I just happen, happened to have that, like, last year or the year before I was at Download, I think it was last year, one of the photographers like, come with me, we're going to go check out a set. I'm like, okay. Never saw the band before, never heard of them. And I was like, oh my God, they're freaking awesome. And again, like they're one of my favorite bands now and they're somebody I would have never looked for and it was Electric Cowboy. Oh, wow. And I was like, they were playing in a tent like this. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And that's the thing with live music is sometimes there's bands you may not like, but then you see them live. Like I have bands even in metal that I didn't like till I saw them live. And I'm like, wow, now they're good. We, we get that a lot with our music. A lot of people who are like, I don't get it, but then they'll like see us live, and then the next day on Reddit, they'll be like, okay, I get it. I love it. I get it, it now. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That must be a great feeling, too, because like, yeah. you're connecting to people you wouldn't normally connect to, and, and then they do finally get it. Well, and we, we always tell people, our, we make music to play it live like we're not recording artists we're live performers and i think that's the thing once people see the show live then they get get the music and see that is rock and roll right there to me because it it's kind of weird when you have rock bands that don't sound good live because they can't duplicate what they did in the studio it's usually supposed to be the other way around. It's The band's complaint, it's too polished when they get in the studio. Like, they want the live sound that they already do so that it will match when somebody goes to their show. Yeah. 100% agree. Yeah, we're like the opposite of Steely Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wow. It is nice. Austin is too humble, but he, like, records, produces, well, along with Chloe, the all of our stuff. So it's, like, just the three of us in their home studio. So it is, like, nice. We keep it in-house, and we can, like, make sure we're capturing the things we want to capture for the recordings, which is nice. And nobody's telling you what to do. Nope. I never get that. I, I never did. Why business people tell artists how to make art? You wouldn't tell them how to run the business. Let everybody have their own side. Yeah, you would. I don't know. Maybe. No, I'm just kidding. No. Well, that's like a major reason we love our label, Rise Records. They were totally just like, okay, like, yep, just let us know when it's done. I've heard that a lot about them. Yeah, and we're like, okay. Yeah. We're like, you don't. They're just like, no. Just like, hand it in. Because that's cool. they signed us for us, and not to change us, just to elevate us. That's the kind of record label I think every band should be on. Yeah. That's amazing. So, tell everybody how they can connect you guys on socials, on the web. Most importantly, buy your merch, because they can't listen to my show if they don't buy your merch, and all that good stuff. Yeah. So, you can find us on all socials, at Winona Fighter, W-I-N-O-N-A-F-I-G-H-T-E-R. So we're that on all of social media. We have some new music coming out and a big announcement on October 11th. We'll be at Aftershock in Sacramento. We'll be My at- birthday. Oh, hell yeah. We'll be at Ceremony Fest in Nashville, Tennessee. And you can buy our merch. We actually do our merch through Danny Wimmer's merch company. Nice. Um, so you can find us there. Get a t-shirt, get a bucket hat, whatever you want. Love it. And... Do you have anything else you want to share with the listeners we haven't covered yet that they need to know that's coming up or anything? 
I don't think so. Just thank you guys so much for streaming the music and, and allowing us to do this and play cool festivals like this. Nice. Well, thanks for being here at Larry and Life, and thanks for being on the Avengers Pipe Man. Thanks for having us. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.